Today I'll be talking about the things I wish I knew prior to implementing a pricing software solution. My name is Jonathan Hendricks. I'm the director of pricing at Southwire Company. The first thing that I wish I knew prior to implementing software was to define my pricing strategy and my team's pricing strategy. We're a new organization that we were standing up just a few months prior then to the evaluation process. So if I could go back, the thing that I would do was to have great definition around my pricing strategy and what I wanted to implement in the software and what I wanted to get from the software. Going through implementation right now and working with a great partner and kind of iterating as we go, which is good because we are seeing what the software has to offer, but it's also somewhat lengthening the implementation process. So that's probably the number one thing that I wish I knew prior to starting the project. So if I could tell anyone to plan prior to starting implementation, really get with all the stakeholders in your business and flesh out your go forward strategy. Get with everybody who will be impacted by the change in pricing strategy ahead of time and flesh out your user stories prior to engaging with the vendor. So that's a much more seamless process. The number two thing that I wish I knew, and it's something that everybody, every company will have to deal with is the cleanliness of our data. Of course, nobody's data is perfect, but really think through the price, the things that you want to price off of, the strategies, the data points that you would like to price off of, and really start looking at that data ahead of time and potentially clean that up, working at a master data team and doing a project to try to clean that data up ahead of time so when you start implementation, you can hit the ground rolling and you can maximize the capabilities of the software. One thing that I would say helped us along the process, we did have a good implementation partner who helped us define our user stories ahead of time and kind of flesh it out. And we also had worked with a third party consultant. So if that's a possibility for you and your company, I would suggest that as well. I'll also say that, as I mentioned earlier, being that we're a new pricing organization, some of the things were still to be defined despite the help that we achieved. So having a great implementation partner helps, but the more you can define, they can only take it so far. So definitely it's part and parcel. Flesh out that strategy and then work with your leverager implementation partners and a third party consultant if possible to kind of define everything ahead of time. And while we are a new pricing organization and a well long term existing company, I do know that existing and well in place pricing teams can still have the same challenges, right? And then with a pricing software, it gives you capabilities that you never had before. So I know that a lot of times companies or teams can get trapped to what we've always done. This is the way we've always done it. So I would say really think out of the box and think through all the possibilities that the software can provide you and leverage those capabilities. A few of the potential attributes that a company, you could think about pricing or leveraging product attributes, product features, thinking through specific like a better, best, basic strategy, and also customer attributes, geography, market attributes. So there, it runs the gamut of things you could potentially leverage. You just have to make sure your data is there if you want to leverage those things because it might not be part of your product data or your customer data because you've never had to leverage that before or never had to use it. So those are potential things that you could look to to get in place and work through and build it out in your ERP system prior to working with the pricing software. Starting a pricing software project, it requires tremendous cross-functional collaboration involving stakeholders from all parts of the company. The pressure is tremendous to make it a success. If only you had someone who had been there to help you along the journey. So now you'll see that although starting a pricing software project can be stressful, it doesn't have to be. Doing things like defining your strategy, defining your data requirements, and ensuring you have the necessary components to be successful will make it much easier and you'll be much more prepared. If you want to know more about how to prepare for your pricing software project, check out this article from Chris Keenan where he talks through the phases of a pricing software project and what to expect from each phase. We have more new videos like this, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know down in the comments what was the most surprising thing that you experienced when implementing your pricing software or other software.